<laughs> Look at you. Look at you. It's good to see you. Me too. You're looking good. Thanks. I can see my face in them. We've got a proper soldier here. Your things are on the table. Aunt Lily. Don't you dare cross my threshold. I told you I'd take care of him. And I will. That's a promise. Ready? Okay. So? James. Ollie. Take it. He'd want you to take it. Clothes fishing rod. I'll give it to him. No. Make us proud, James. Make your dad proud. I will. You ready? He'll be fine, Aunt Lily. I promise. We'll be straight back. Be careful now. Yes, Mommy. Look at that face. Who could hurt that? Look at that. Make sure you eat right. Yes, we will. <laughs> For fuck's sake, shut up! It's down to already. Till again. Jim. Jim. Send over 
for some socks. Extra socks. What about some extra fags and bills? Yeah. <laughs> and how about a copy of Fanny in Paris? <laughs> <laughs> Tell her I'm doing good. And I miss her. What, is that it? <laughs> what are you laughing at? What's that? You heard me. What's so funny, eh? It's none of your fucking business. Anyway, I thought your mommy couldn't read. What's you gonna do with that letter? We put our ass on it. You wanna start them, do you? Yeah. You stand accused today of the Section 4 offence of desertion. How do you plead to the charge? Officer approaching! Pitch time. An absolute shower. Lose the spade, Private. You're not digging a canal now. Five days. Five days you've let some sniper pin down your section of this line. Stand easy. Christ, I'm in command of a bunch of mix who can't even dress themselves. Men, there's been a theft. A case of medicinal brandy's been stolen. And you chaps are chief culprits. Hmm? You like a drink, don't you, Patterson? Take them last night, brother. No, no, sir. It wasn't. I know you lot are all related, but I didn't know you spoke for everybody, James. Perhaps the Hun took it. That's it. Perhaps he popped out of his hole, tiptoed across our line, and he took our brandy. James, as spokesman, pick three men. They can go across no man's land tonight, and they can bring it back. Perhaps, if they say Fritz asleep at his post, drunk, they can skewer him with a bayonet. No, very well. Stevens! Mills! Patterson! If I don't see that brandy in front of me before dark, you three will go over the top, and you will retrieve it. Carry on. Officer approaching! It was clear that our line was broken. I considered the situation and gave order to fall back. To my certain knowledge, the private refused the command. Did he hear the command? Oh, yes, sir. He responded to other orders, but not to that one. Did he display signs of injury of any sort? No, sir. Able-bodied. <laughs> well, then, he just abandoned his post and was living it up in some farmhouse. Quite so. How many did you have? Oh, I don't know. Uh, hundreds. You know, we used to breed them, race them. But the old man, he even won some prizes. My grandmother used to make pies out of them. But they were wood pigeons. Wood pigeons? What the fuck? How do you eat a wooden pigeon? <laughs> Hey, that's what you talk so funny. Splinters in your mouth. Ooh. <laughs> ah! Oh, it stinks. Stevens. Might just hold on to this. Good luck, Charm. See me through tonight. If you're not going over the top, your cigarette case is. Nobody's going over the top. Doesn't make any sense. Sense? Where's the sense in any of this? May I?
Wait. It's quiet. Yes, sir. Tell me. How would you describe morale? Morale, sir. It's good, sir. Raids. Raids are very good for morale. And we should always be trying to improve our morale, sir. What would you do to improve morale, Harris? Well, I couldn't rightly say, sir. Speak freely. Well, there's singing. Some men like to sing. Or writing a letter home, perhaps. If it were you. If it were me, sir. Grog, sir. I've always found that's good for my morale. Yes. I'm sure you probably have. There's rain in the air. And the darkness falls. Bloody rain. We can handle anything but the rain. I came here to get away from the rain. Looks like snow. Said it was snow. But before I forget, let's get now. Officer approaching! It's much better, man. Marks improvement, good show. At ease. Yes, there'll be um <clears throat> there'll be no need for that excursion this evening. Stand easy. French took our brandy. Once spying this little frog. Caught him with half a bottle, trying to blow his own toes off, work his ticket home. So I was thinking a little extra rationing. Go on, line up, tuck in. Come on, James. Strong one, stiffen you up. Patterson, get your billy cats. Well, from HQ, we're going to get new gas masks. Better ones. Improvements like that's going to win this war. I hope to have the same holes in a case against Stuffy. This one's nice and breezy like a whore's knickers. <laughs> Thank 
Thank you, Captain Montague. In light of your report and considering his actions, I think our findings are inevitable. Of course. She's <laughs> afraid to write. <laughs> this isn't right, Andy. You know what's happening, don't you? You know what they're gonna do to you. Do you remember Molly? Little red-haired girl. I fancied her. I was 14. You must have been about 12. You remember? I remember Molly. I seen you kissing her. I watched you from my house. I seen you. And I kept that in my head for about 10 years. And I didn't say anything. Auntie. Do you know why I kept that in my head? 
because I love you. And I want to let you know that I forgive you. It's okay, Andy. And I also want you to know that the two balls that you got blamed on stealing, when your mum came round to my mum, there was murder in the house. I want you to forgive me for that. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you. I knew this. Do you forgive me for it? Go and put your head down and get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow. James. You lost this. Hey! Hey! Hunt! First aid! 